Let's do art for a Thursday here, specifically because Thursdays are that day we look forward to for some great art. And here we begin with Clock Toju or Teri Seju. Favor, uh, he is a, a very interesting artist here. He is a Nigerian staffetto and digital artist with an international record in art. He makes use of um, these techniques with a focus on perspective, identity, and mental health awareness. You are welcome, Toju. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. Now, we're surrounded by your art, and I think they're very interesting pieces. But you have a story behind your art. Your focus is not just because you want to express what you feel, it's also because you have, well, a drive, and that's mental awareness. Could you tell us a bit about that first before we delve into your art proper? Okay, so um, I started creating this technique of art in 2017. But prior to that, I've been like, creating art over time. But, I mean, in 20, 2017, I mean, I, I became very depressed at some point. Oh, okay. So, and that was when I created my first painting mm. using this technique. That's what we're looking at here, yes? Yeah, and that's called Clouded Minds. Clouded Minds. So, I mean, at that point in time, I had, like, my mind clouded. Like, I just wanted to, like, be free to do what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure of what I wanted to do, but, I mean, at the same time, I realized that a lot of youths, like me, too, mm -hmm. go through that process where you're indecisive of what, to, what, what you should do at a particular point in time. So yeah, that was what inspired that, that first. What do you think was the main reason for that depression? And were you already an artistic person from before then, but only just found that expression was at your fingertips at that point? What was exactly responsible, if you don't mind my asking? Okay, so um, as youths, yeah, mm -hmm. you, get, you get like this hodge to want to like, this competitive urge mm. presently you get like to want to like be better than other people yeah and in the society where we are it's really really competitive and it weighs a whole lot mm -hmm. on on we youths as well so i mean that was like one of the things that prompted me to like oh start. interesting to think that this came out of that clouded minds now this is your first art in 2017 yeah um i do see some sort of resemblance that uh from your physiognomy am i correct that this is you no, this is not it me, is but like okay. it's it's more like I said, it's a cloud of mind. Cloud, so it's, it is it's an abstract painting. <laughs> it does and, look very good. Yeah, it's an abstract painting. So I just like try to depict mankind itself, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, that's oh, it. Very interesting. Five years of doing this and you're already that good. If this is your first painting, yeah. then you can only imagine what his other paintings are like. Let's take a look at this one here, which not many, well, there's no mistake in this. These are, well, uh, images of you, are they not? Exactly. I find it very, very interesting that you're able to capture yourself in the different little um, reactions or uh, expressions of your face. Happy, um, and serious. serious, you know, all of them are represented here, especially that one. Unfortunately, they can't see this one here. If you can't, let me see. It's down there. But exactly um, what is this picture or this uh, artwork telling? Okay, so this, is, this portrays my mood board. Okay. How I feel, how I react to things. Yeah. I so it's... That. Is, is my mood swing basically. Mm, okay. So you have, you, it's more or less like me portraying myself to the world and showing that, okay, there are, there are different ways I react to things mm. through my facial expression. Nice. And I'm not the only one that like, reacts to these things. Everybody, Everybody does. does yeah. Now, I'm also particular about your uh, mode of expression. Uh, this isn't exactly painting, is yeah, it? No. What is it? So it is called S Graffito, scratching. Es graffito. Yeah. Okay, I, I call this graffito. I'm sorry. <laughs> es graffito is what es it is. Es graffito. So okay. it is known for poetry. Okay. Like, it's a technique known for poetry, but I applied it to painting. Like. So what do you do? Do you paint and then scratch out? Yeah, I paint and then scratch out. Mm, very interesting. And this kind of a painting takes you how long to put together? A month. Three weeks to a month, wow. yeah. Interesting. And now when you translate that to money, how much would it cost yes. if I was to ask you to put something like this together for me? Most of my paintings are like a thousand dollars a foot. Thousand dollars, nothing yeah. less. Yes, he doesn't charge in naira, guys. He charges in, <laughs> in dollars. But um, in the five years that you've been putting out artwork, yeah. would you say that you've gotten enough money, or would you say that you're still struggling as an artist in Nigeria? Um, I won't say I'm struggling, but I'll say I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Let's move on to this art piece here, which is the biggest one. It's not a. It's not an art piece. It's a wall by itself and um the one in yellow and black uh, you have a certain fancy for dark paintings i noticed but yeah. what is that tell us what's the theme and who is it 
So this is called, this is titled, Look at Me, I'm Different. Okay. And it was inspired by a young Nigerian called Emis. On, on Instagram, mm -hmm. he's known as the coolest African kid. The coolest African kid? Yeah. So his storyline is, there was this time when he, he came out to like talk about um, his mom's mental state mm. and how he lost his mo um, mom mm. to um, um, psychiatric home. He took her there and then all of a sudden they said he couldn't find her. I remember that case. You remember that case? Yeah, I do. So, I mean, everybody kept on contradicting the fact that he took his mom to, to the psychiatric home. Meanwhile, he should be the one based on his outlook. Mm -hmm. You know, and it actually touched me because I mean I feel like we shouldn't be judged based on our outlook. Yeah, you know, looking at him, he speaks so well, better than a lot of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And it's I mean the fact that he didn't go to school, mm -hmm. you know, makes it all of like and his outlook like. Yeah. But I mean he's really talented, and that was what inspired. Have you gotten any reaction from him on this? Has he? Yes, he knows. He knows. And he, what did he's he a say? friend of mine. He likes it. Oh, nice. Okay. Wow, that's very beautiful. Now, our final piece of art here that we have is this one just before us. Uh, it's got uh, multiple faces on it. And once again, it's kind of like reminds me of that one again, like a mood board of some sort. But what is it exactly? So it's called Split Thoughts. Split Thoughts. So like I said, I think I, um, I made mention of my works relating to me personally. Yeah. So, and at the same time, getting to understand that I'm not the only one going through these things. Yeah. So now split thoughts is more or less like a dilemma mm -hmm. between me and what I want to do. Now, there are a lot of youths that get to that point where they're indecisive of either to go left or go right. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, mm. like you're trying to like war with your thoughts and yeah. that's why like I have that. That indecision, does it have any, is there the influence of perhaps parents or, or society yeah, yeah. As well. In your case, as well, for yeah. instance, was it a case that, oh, you, a, a certain group of people wanted you to do this and you know that inside of you, you could do something else even better? Was that the dilemma that you were facing? Okay, so when, when it comes to my art, I, I, I get critics criticized on the fact that, oh, why are you doing black, black? Yeah. Like, why not like try something else, you know? Mm -hmm. And I mean, I just want to do me. So like, that's like one of well, those. Hey, you definitely are doing you. It's expressive in all of the forms of art that you're putting out. And I think that is very interesting. And especially the fact that you have a drive behind it, which is mental health, also bringing awareness to that part of, yeah. uh, of life. It's a congratulatory effort, I must say. And I'd like to say, hey, keep on the good work. Would like to see an exhibition sometime, Teju. Yeah, um, currently I have a show. Okay. It's Art Pension Gallery. Okay. At Oniru. So it's, it's still ongoing until the 30th. It's a good the 30th show. at yeah. Oniru. Oh, fantastic. Maybe I'll come through. All right, no problem. Good one, man. Nice one. <laughs> Great having you here on the show. Can't wait to see more. Thank you. Thank you very much for well watching. Do stay tuned. We've got more inside of Wake Up Nigeria. It's an artsy Thursday. So expect the book review somewhere before the end of the show.